Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am fresh faced, I have zero makeup on. I've just woken up so I look pretty tired. But um, today I thought I would do a little extra vlog because I'm going to a few different places today and I thought I would compile it into one video and do like a come to the salon with me vlog. Although, I'm actually going to three different places. <laughs> so I will bring you along with me. Just quickly run through what I actually have booked in. Um, firstly, at 10 a.m. I need to pop to hairdressers. She's doing a fringe trim for me, hence why it's like pretty like unstyled right now. It's growing out too much that I can't have it as a like a full fringe, it's too long. So she's just gonna trim that up for me. They do free fringe trims at my salon, so that's good. So this is a before, I'll show you the after. And then I'm heading to another salon which is in a village near me called All About The Sparkle and it's a friend's salon. So she has very kindly offered to do a little like exfoliate, cleanse facial for me, hence the no makeup. And then at half two, I'm going across to a place called Padium, whereby I am having my nails done by Tom's cousin. So she is very kindly offered to book me in and get my nails done before Amsterdam. That's the plan for today, and uh, let's get started. If you're interested in a quick OOTD for today, I am wearing my Primark jumper. I love this, it's such a cozy jumper. Um, this coat is from La Sula. again, super, super cozy. My coach bag, misguided vice jeans. I've just got a Zara t-shirt on as well. And my Ralph Lauren boots. First stop is hair salon, so let's go. I'm always one step behind. Wishing I could read your mind, but I'm ready. Yeah, never ready. I wish I could have made it stop The first time that you stood me up I wasn't ready Yeah, never ready Like a forbidden fool I'm still playing for I'm still And I'm all done! Although it's blowing in the wind right now. I'm gonna have to change my jumper, I think, because you know when you have your hair cut and it's like spiking me on my arms, I can feel feel it itching so yeah I'm just gonna go into booths now grab myself some lunch before heading off to all about the sparkle for my facial So I am in my room, this is where I'm going to be lying for the next uh, hour or so. Cleanse, exfoliate and then I'm having a light treatment which is the Dermalux Triwave it's called. This machine here will sit on my face for around about 20 minutes. I'll document little processes but this is before. I do have a little bit of concealer and stuff on so and my brows so that will all be taken off I'm sure. Um, but yeah I'll fill you in on how it goes afterwards. So this is a manual and um, like a chemical exfoliation. It's going to nibble away at the skin but then there's also very fine beads. So we're using white light and red light with this one. Feel okay? Yeah, I'm just imagining Barbados right now. Yeah. <laughs> Lying on a beach in Barbados. Yeah. There we are. So I'm feeling all fresh faced now. That was such a lovely treatment. Well worth it and quite relaxing. So if you're one that likes a relaxing facial, that I would recommend. So I'm gonna head downstairs now, have a look at some of the products, the makeup products that um, Charlotte sells here at All About The Sparkle. And I might even book in for LVL lashes, which I've had done here before and um, really, really good. So I'm gonna get that booked in for March before Dubai. all 
done. Skin's glowing, feeling very fresh faced and they very kindly um, have allowed me to try out some of the Delilah products. So these are just the sample ones. I'm gonna head back now. I've got a couple of hours to wait yet until my nail appointment. So I'm gonna head home first, get some work done, show you the makeup bits and then head off to get my nails done. Right, just before I set off to go get my nails done and made myself a quick afternoon tea kind of a Christmassy mug but oh well still feeling festive it's a Burt and Tang ginger tea mm. I thought I'd just run through the products that I really was keen to try from Delilah firstly I wanted to try their primer this is the underwear future resist skin primer and also try that with their time frame Moisture, uh, moisturizer foundation i've got the lighter shade in lace because i'm better off with light and bronzing it up i'm going to add a drop of this in as well this is meant to be really good you can use this on your body as well it is their pure light liquid radiance and this concealer the take cover radiant cream concealer this looks so so good right up my street and it's in a shade which is very similar to the one that i use i quite like a bright under eye so that is quite light for me but like I said, a little goes a long way and I prefer a brighter under eye. And then for brows, I have the brow line um, eyebrow pencil. It's a really, really fine one, which are my favorite ones to use. And then the brow shape defining brow gel. For lips, I've got this lipstick in Flirt, which is like their pinky nude color. This is in Jewel and it's their lip gloss. Then I also have got these to try. The Pure Light Compact Illuminating Powder looks really good. And then this is the blush that I wanted to try in this gorgeous peachy colour called Clementine. Because obviously I've had a facial and everything. I don't want to go overboard with makeup. But what I'm going to do is just put on a little bit of the underwear primer. And it comes out like a clear gel. Tiny bit of the foundation. Just pop a bit of that on my brush, dab it on, and blend out. It's quite like a light to medium. Actually, I'd say it's medium coverage, this foundation. Okay, touch of concealer. This is in shade Ivory. Again, I think this is the lightest one. Tiny bit of that under my eyes. Should use the warmth of my fingers. And then what I'm going to do to test this out today is just pop a tiny bit. This is the liquid radiance. Tiny bit on my hands there. And just lightly dab on the top of my cheekbones. Oh my god, that has got a real glow to it. I love that. So to bronze, I'm just going to use a bit of hula with my Real Techniques brush. They do have a bronzer this range, but... I didn't pick one of those up, so I'm just going to be using my own. Next up, I'm going to test out the uh, blush. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be really pigmented, it is. So, again, a little goes a long way, especially with me doing like a more natural makeup look anyway today. Tiny bit of the illuminating powder. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that. Oh my god, again. A little bit goes a long way. Just pop a bit on the brow bone, on the bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow. Now run a tiny bit of the brow pencil through like the tail of my brow more than anything, just to define it. And then brow gel just to set the brows. Yes, love this. It's got a tiny brush, just like what I prefer, bit of nude lip liner. This is the Revlon Colour Stay Lip Liner in Natural. And then finish off with the tiniest bit of this lip gloss. I'm going to use my own mascara, which is the their real one. Weirdly, I have the full size version of this, but I always reach for the mini. I don't know why. 
and then I'm going to finish the look with a spritz of my iconic London prep set glow just to make everything all dewy and natural and glowy kind of like almost like a wet look finish I love it now it's time to go get these bad boys done obviously I'm going to pick a nude I'll take you along with me and you'll see which I'm going to pick but I may venture into a bit of colour on my toes if we decide to do them, if we've got time. So, I'll see you when I get there. This is the first time I've actually been to this salon, so I don't really know where I'm going. I'm 10 minutes early. I was going to say late then. Early. Always early. Uh, so, I'm going to head out and try and find it. It's in Padium. It's called Halo. Again, I will leave a link to Annette's Instagram down below and any other details that she wants me to include. And look what I did. That middle one broke it this morning. Typical, isn't it? When you booked in for nails, you break your nail. What was the name of colour we went for? Classic on my fingers. And then ready when you are, which is a red on my toes. It's so cold outside. Right, fresh nails done. My toes feel so soft and amazing. Um, so like I said, I went for, you'll have seen a deep red in the toes. And then for my fingernails, I always tend to go neutral and I love this shade. It's called Classic. It's a classic and really, really like it. I love how she's like shaped them and everything. I'll leave um, her Instagram handle and phone number for you to book in if you're local to the Padium area. And that has people travel from near Lytham. So it's like an hour's drive away. Well, maybe like 45 minutes, an hour's drive just to see her. So she's really, really good. And I don't go for acrylics myself, but if you are after the longer coffin shaped, nails and all that kind of jazz she does it with like different glitters and everything her daughter ella she has um amazing nails and she always has like really cool looking nails so leave a couple of pictures of what i'm talking about along with all the information you need to book if you want to book in yourself thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little come to the salon vlog with me if you have any questions about anything i've had done then just pop them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you again next time bye guys